A common question posed to students who are studying the photoelectric effect is, will an electron be ejected from a metal, in this case chromium, and they'll give you the binding energy, if light with a certain frequency, in this case 1.2 times 10 to the 15 hertz, is shot on the surface. Now what they're really asking here is, does each photon of light have more energy than the binding energy? If the photon has more energy than this, electrons will be ejected because each photon excites the electrons so much they can't help themselves and they get sprayed out of the metal. Now, if the light doesn't have enough energy, if each photon does not have enough energy, then the electrons may be excited inside each atom, but they stay in the atom and they aren't ejected from the metal. So, how do you solve a problem like this? with a formula. Well, first we have to convert this amount of light to an energy. How do you calculate energy from frequency? The answer is E equals H times nu. That is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules seconds times the frequency, in this case 1.2 times 10 to the 15 hertz or seconds to the minus one, as hertz are also known. If we do that on our calculator, we get 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 times 1.2 times 10 to the power of 15. I get 7.95 times 10 to the power of negative 19. And I want to take a look at my units, the units are joules. So, is this more energy than the binding energy? Yes, that means electrons are ejected and it's as easy as that. If you're given the wavelength you may have to use a different formula E equals HC over lambda. H is the same, lambda is your wavelength, C is your speed of light. Use either of these formulas to calculate the energy of your photons. If they're more than the binding energy, yes, electrons ejected. If they're lower than the binding energy, no, electrons not ejected. Best of luck.